Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you had a great weekend. Let's start straight into the content. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price as usual, Ethereum and also we are going over into the DXY after also checking the Bitcoin dominance. So my friends, let's start here in the four hour time frame because we had during this weekend a little bit of roller coaster. First, we had these two breakouts to the upside from these falling wedges within this bigger rising wedge. And currently you can see that Bitcoin is falling below this support that we have here at $48,000. As you can see right now, we had already three, four hour closes below this important previous support, which now could be acting as a new resistance. We are right now testing this important price level here of $48,000. And since we got here a sell signal in my own indicator, it looks like that we might be in here for a little correction, at least down towards here, this uh, 44 to $43,000 area. This could be already over maybe this correction, but in my opinion, if here we are not able again to close four hour candles, above $48,000. We have a confirmed breakout here to the downside and also confirmed new resistance at 48,000. And we most likely gonna see here continuation to the downside, at least for the short term, because we could still come down here to retest this 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, which is currently at around $37,600. So I think in the worst case scenario, if the sell signal is playing completely out, then we might see a drop towards these price level down here. The only thing that could save us is if here we're gonna close again four hour candles within this rising wedge and then potentially also break out here to the upside but therefore we need at least a couple of four hour closes above this important resistance that we could have right now which is also coinciding here with the 20 moving average in the four hour the only bullish thing here is that currently we are bouncing from the 50 level in the rsi but if this one is getting lost then be prepared to see this correction at least down towards 44 to 42 thousand dollar in the worst case even down towards the 200 moving average which currently is at 37,600. And also if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands, you can see that we didn't manage to close four hour candles above the Bollinger Band. So that is of course a little bit of bearish sign, at least if you wanted to have an explosive move here to the upside above 50K. So right now we're trading again on the bearish side below the midline of the Bollinger Bands. And also we didn't close any four hour candle above the Bollinger Bands here. So that of course is not a very good sign. We cooled off here the stochastic as well. So in tier now we should have a big bounce to the upside here in the Bitcoin price otherwise be prepared to see the price coming back down again towards uh, this area of 40k potentially even come a little bit uh, lower and if we are coming down towards 37 to 40k I'm most likely also gonna buy some more Bitcoin because I think this could be a potential local bottom area before we gearing up towards 50 and 60 thousand dollar and if we go over into the daily time frame here, you can see why that is the case. Because right now, as you can see, we bounced exactly at the nine daily moving average. And that, of course, is already a very bullish sign. But since we are still looking very overbought in the daily time frame and also in my own indicator, we are getting a sell signal right now is not confirmed. It will be confirmed by tomorrow if we're gonna stay in this price range here. So if this is getting confirmed, then we most likely are coming back down here towards the 20 daily moving average. And right now it's here at 41,000. That's why if we're gonna see here another correction down towards 40,000, potentially even down towards 36,700, where also the 50 daily moving average is lining up and previously it hold as a very strong support, then I'm most likely gonna, of course, scale in some longs over on Bybit and also buy some more Bitcoin with some fresh money because I think this could be a local bottom here if we're gonna see here the sell signal playing out here in the daily. So here in the Bitcoin price right now, I think we could see a short term correction. So short term continuation to the downside towards these targets here, but overall we're still bullish and there we should expect a big bounce to the upside. And since it's Monday, we're gonna update here the moving averages in the weekly as well, because the nine weekly moving average is also here $37,000. So that's why you see it makes very much sense that if we're coming down that we should bounce here $37,000 
can also confirm this new support and in the worst case scenario the 20 weekly moving average right now is here at $26,000 so for the worst case scenario if we drop here below the 9 weekly moving average we could maybe even come down to test the 20 weekly here at $26,000 but I think that scenario is very unlikely of course we have some bearish signs some sell signals here but overall bitcoin is looking very bullish and we should expect here also continuation to the upside and we are coming very close to the target here of this breakout that we had a couple of days ago here of around sixty thousand dollar so let's see if we're gonna have here this last little correction down towards forty to thirty seven thousand dollar and then move on towards 60,000 that is very likely my opinion and this is also how I'm going to trade this and also where I gonna buy some more Bitcoin and now we can also have a look quickly here into the CME chart because the CME is uh, opened again and I think we had a little CME gap here just like in the one hour or something uh, yes we had here a very small tiny gap got immediately filled up again already so the CME in my opinion is more looking like that we would form here an ascending a triangle uh, rather than a, a rising wedge and also here in theory we didn't broke out yet to the downside so the CME chart is actually looking more bullish than bearish here um, yeah so here if I would look only into the CME chart I most likely would say that we're gonna see again uh, 49,000 retest maybe even break out here to the upside so the CME in my opinion is looking a bit more bullish than the spot chart but uh, yeah let's see what will happen I think uh, most likely here if we are not able to close for our candle above uh, 48,000 we most likely gonna have this correction down towards 40,000 potentially even down towards 37,000 and now let's go over into the ethereum chart because in ethereum we had exactly here the same breakout to the downside and right now we are again testing this new resistance that we maybe have here at 1780 so if here we're gonna see a four hour close again below 1780 also here i'm pretty confident that we will come all the way back down to retest this important resistance area which now should be turning into new support right at around 1500 dollar and if we go over into the daily time frame also here you can see that currently we are getting supported by the nine daily moving average but as soon and if we're gonna have an, a daily close below the nine daily moving average at 1760 then be prepared the price to come straight back down towards the 20 daily moving average here at 1600 dollar and in the worst case scenario back again here towards 1500 dollar where in my opinion also the 50 daily moving average will catch up here with this support area here in the next coming days right now it's only here down at this previous support level at thousand three hundred dollar but uh, the more we're staying here above uh, of course the higher this moving average will come and that's why i think this one will catch up most likely very soon here with this support of one thousand five hundred dollar but also here on ethereum we're looking still very overbought and also in my own indicator it looks like that the momentum is shifting back to the downside at least for the short term in the bigger time frame of course we are still looking very bullish we are trading above all the moving averages so in the really worst case scenario that ethereum would drop here again below this important support of 1500 we will get most likely very strong buy support here at the 200 daily moving average at 670 dollars so that's why my friends i'm also very bullish here on ethereum doesn't matter even if we would see a 50 percent drop towards this uh, price area down here right above the 200 daily moving average which also is previous resistance and now it should be acting as a very strong support so bitcoin and ethereum both are looking very bullish even though of course in the short term we might see a little dip and if we're gonna see such a dip i definitely don't recommend to short this area up here but if we're gonna see here continuation to the downside take it as a very good long entry and also good opportunity to buy more ethereum or Bitcoin and of course if on ethereum and Bitcoin we have a four hour close again above the 20 moving average in the four hour and also confirm it again as a new support then I think we are good to go to open up again longs and of course also we have to wait for buy signals here in the lower time frames as well especially the three hour because over in discord with my own indicator we're trading usually the three hour time frame so as soon as here we're getting another buy signal I think that should be good to go 
that we can open up again some new longs and by the way a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat if you want to join our free discord trading chat make sure to use the official link down below here in the video description with this link you can easily access to the trading chat you just have to go then here to read first and click here on thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and like this you can get into our free discord trading chat and of course also here for a small donation you can get access to my own indicator live stream here on discord with buy and sell signals for bitcoin and now let's go over into the bitcoin dominance chart because right now if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that the bitcoin dominance is bouncing off an important support right here at 60 percent so this is the last resort here in order to have a big bounce to the upside towards 66 percent our resistance that we have up here because if we're gonna lose here the 60 percent this support line here then we will fall straight towards 50 percent in dominance and that of course would mean that we're gonna see a huge big altcoin season where you can do really huge gains only by just buying some altcoins and then convert it back into bitcoin so if you want to do that then make sure that you have a binance account ready if you still need a Binance account, you find my referral link down below here in the video description. Use my referral link to open up a free Binance account. No KYC needed here. And there you can buy easily all the altcoins that you want. And of course, also flip it back into Bitcoin or fiat as you wish. So on Binance, you can do everything. If you want to do some flip trades here, if you think that here the Bitcoin dominance will fall towards the 50% level. So as soon as we're gonna see here a daily close below 60 60 percent then i think we are good to go to buy some altcoins and then of course as soon as we are in profits we can switch it back into bitcoin but so far it looks like that we're gonna see here a bounce so the daily time frame looks like that we could see a nice bounce here towards 66 percent again of course the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame could hold as a very strong resistance right here at 64 percent so we have to see what will happen here in the next coming days if we are able to go higher than 64 or if maybe here we're getting rejected and then finally we're gonna fall below 60 percent and then we're gonna see a huge altcoin season because today everything is a little bit red so that could mean that a lot of money is floating back into bitcoin right now especially if here we are seeing a big bounce to the upside but overall if here somewhere we're getting rejected and we're coming back down here towards the 60 percent area we maybe could lose then the support and fall here towards 50 percent and that of course would be great for altcoins but in general i always recommend you guys to stick in with bitcoin and focus on trading bitcoin maybe also diversify a little bit into some altcoins but the most of your money should always stay in bitcoin in my opinion and now we can go over into the dxy because the dxy now had also some four hour closes below the 200 moving average previously it acted as kind of a support here but you can see that we immediately got rejected again after this bounce and right now we are falling again so here in the dxy i'm expecting continuation to the downside and that's why i'm very bullish here on the bitcoin price because if the dxy is falling again towards 89 dollars and less then of course we're gonna see big continuations to the upside in the bitcoin price and that's why i think six thousand dollar we will see pretty soon potentially even during this month and if we go over into the daily here also you can see that so far we're getting rejected by the 20 and 9 daily moving average and as soon as we're gonna lose also here the 50 daily moving average then of course the dxy is again in free fall and we could easily come back down again towards this green trend line which previously acted as a resistance and right now maybe could act as a new support at 89 but overall the dxy is looking very weak and we also got here a confirmed sell signal so i'm expecting here the dxy to continue to go lower and that of course is very very bullish for the bitcoin price and my friends if you want to take as much gains as possible on the way up or on the way down then make sure to trade over on bybit or femex those two are the most recommended exchanges that i'm also using and you find my referral links down below here with my links you get some extra cash some extra money so you can do some free trades of course you have to do some initial deposits here in bitcoin like this you can get all these bonus that they are offering but definitely 
try out those exchanges. Those are the ones that I'm also using. And of course, check out also all the other links that you find down below here, because with some of them, you can get some free money if you use my sign up links, especially for Swiss Borg, Coinbase and Binance. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button very much appreciated and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And if you tick the little bell next to the subscription button, then of course you also get notified once I upload a video instantly. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.